Hey friends, it's Andrew from Southern Freedom. Welcome back to the warehouse. Welcome back to the hallway. So I'm going to do a part two from last week's video. Last week I showed you guys what it was like to get 22 pallets in three days and fill up my whole hallway. So I'm going to do the same thing for this week, except as of right now, I have no deliveries coming in. And I'm going to show you how many things we've gone through. Now, today is Tuesday. Yesterday, we didn't touch a single thing in the hallway. Mondays are normally our busiest days. Auction ends Saturday. Most people want to come in on Monday and pick up their stuff. It was just person after person after person. We also pull over all inventory items that are on the next slash current auction to customer pickup. So the hallway had nothing moved in it and one of my girls put in two bottles of shampoo. So what you see here is the exact same from last week. So we will go through this week, see how much stuff we can clear out. I'm also moving my customer pickups. So I have some of those shelves empty. So it might slow me down a little bit with this stuff, but we'll have to see. I, I, I need to, I need to make more room because the piles of random stuff is making me go crazy. I got to put it away. It needs a home. It's just disheveled. I take that back. Some things have left the hallway. I ate some applesauce. <laughs> I had more Andy's candy. There's a sweet man that always brings me snacks and I had two boxes out. So he gave me six little boxes of tea and I gave him beef sticks and granola bars. So it was a little tradesy. So as of right now, on a Tuesday, nothing has changed since last week. Let's see what we can get by the end of the day and maybe I'll have an update. Okay, it is end of day Thursday. I actually was gone almost all of the morning. I was here and then had to leave to go to a real estate meeting that lasted longer than I thought. Run home, let the dogs and come back out. But the middle area here, which was full of crap, has been cleared away. There is a path down the hall again. We have emptied. This was a customer pickup shelf that was completely moved over. There is another one. That orange one will be empty soon. All of this customer pickups can be moved to this shelf. The way we can keep track of what's old, what didn't sell. Cause I know there was like two or three weeks where things were unsold at the end of an auction and I don't think they were moved back into inventory. So I'm gonna sort through that. I have a few people still coming to pick up that stuff I've talked to this week. I sent out an email last week to remind people to come pick up their stuff. So let me take you a little tour down the hallway. Only two pickups today. Mondays are the busiest. Thursdays are the slowest and then Fridays pick back up a little bit. It's pretty consistent, weather being excluded, but Thursdays are usually the slowest. Two people came in today, a total of four items went out. No biggie. So let me show you the hallway and the middle here. I actually have you on the camera on one of my carts, which was my makeshift desk. I was writing notes. I had one of the girls back there, so this was easier. It's cold out again, so I have my heater plugged in. And let me show you guys something cool that I opened I think yesterday. NFL Blitz Arcade Game. It looks like the old school one where you put quarters in it, you just plug it in and play. There is a loose cable. I think it's just the AC adapter, so it kind of flickers, but it's kind of cool and it's tall. So in the pictures that I have in our app, I have a broom sitting next to it, just so people can see how tall it actually is. But look at all that space behind me. That's all cleared out. I had a goal today so we can make an actual path. When people walk in on this side still, it didn't look as junky. So let me take it down the hallway. I also opened another Pac-Man game and tested it and lost, <laughs> but it does work. You can't always play the stickers. The return sticker from Costco said joystick did not work. It did. I played two games and lost. <laughs> it didn't make it past the first level. So look at that walkway. We have to move two pallets out. My goal for tomorrow, there is a what appears to be a complete set of patio furniture down there. So I'm going to move that out. That I will leave out in front just because you can't really stack that anywhere. And then, of course, I'll sit on it, use it in my chair for my makeshift desk. There's a few other things I want to take out, but it's the end of the day. I was technically here only half the day. I'm a slacker, I know. But uh, I have to go buy dog food and then I'm going home. I'll have another update tomorrow, the end of the week, to see the end of week two, what we've made it through. And I've had strict instructions to take home more snacks. So I have fruit roll-ups on the table to take home. I've also snuck in some Dunkaroos. I miss those. I can't eat them and more chocolate because can you ever have enough chocolate? It is Friday afternoon. It's about 2.30. We have cleared up the space at the end of the hallway. I have pulled out patio furniture, which took up a pallet and a half. It took to the other side. There's a few scuffs on them. I don't know why we we'll ever get patio furniture and it wasn't really wrapped much in plastic. The table that you would have, you have the two chairs, love seeing the table. It's always upside down. So there's a few scuffs on it. Not too bad. 
But down the hallway, there's two holes now. We have a cart full of stuff put in from this morning. Fridays are hit or miss. Thursdays are typically our slowest day for pickup followed by Friday. We had a few people in this morning, not too many. I have an umbrella open. Polly over there is checking out a new Chase Lounge. I will show you. We'll go around the corner, look at the patio furniture. We have more snacks put in. So let's, let's migrate over there. You know, there's always that one bad apple. <laughs> there she is, <laughs> lounging in the chair under an umbrella. The umbrella's kind of stuck. I gotta see if I can mess with the string. It will open up part of the way and then it gets stuck and won't open all the way. I, there's no brand. The box just says umbrella, pole included, no base. So we'll have to check that out. That chair, super comfortable. $100 for that, uh, oh, what do they call them? Infinity lounger chair to put that back in the box. So let's check out the other furniture. This is the patio furniture, which I just found the sticker on one of the cushion wrappers. It looks like it's either discontinued. It is out of stock, but it's, I'm gonna go with discontinued. It is Hampton Bay Leighton Park four-piece wicker patio conversion, da da da, retail $979. She's pretty cozy, love seat. Two chairs, and then the table. There's a scuff there, there's a scuff there, and there, just from it being upside down. And there is the other one. That one is $249, it's just a chair. You have the option to get tables with it, but it didn't come with it. It may not look like it, but the hallway is better. Like there, that's where that patio furniture set was. There's another box that is, I believe, just a table. I can open that up. The big set of patio furniture from about two weeks ago, that was picked up. So that's clear. The hot tub was picked up from about two weeks ago. So the hallway is getting there. There's still a lot. Knock on wood, as of right now, there's nothing inbound, but that is subject to change on a whim. So it's hard with the food to make it look like we've put a dent in it because there was, 683 units delivered so even if we put in five it's like one box <laughs> and a few of the boxes have more bigger items in there there's a case of celsius and a case of coconut water that's one box but that's still not gonna make it go any faster <laughs> so we have more work to do let me see if I can put any other big items in before I go because the new auction will start tomorrow. The umbrella will go in. I have two pallets of tile on the other side I might put in, but I'm more worried about the hallway. Let's see what other kind of good stuff I can find. I've still been eating snacks every single time I walked in the hallway. I had a fruit roll up. No, fruit by the foot while unloading a truck for my neighbor yesterday because I was getting hangry and I was just doing my thing. <laughs> Loading a truck with fruit by the foot hanging out of my mouth because I'm a toddler. Let's see what else can get done today. Okay guys, it's technically Monday. I want to go record the last clip for Friday's video. My better day, but nothing has changed since then because Monday's our busiest day. We have not gone through any of that unless you count <laughs> snacks. This is a Polar Seltzer Premium Cranberry Lime Water. But other than that, nothing has moved down the hallway. Thanks for coming along. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you next time.